All right, so what is good, everybody? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming at you guys again with yet. Yeah. And yes, indeed, you did read that title right. Y'all see the box right there in the back. Y'all know what to do. Just give me one second. Blam! In the studio, we have these drinks right here dropping on the 10th of June, retail 180. And yes, these come with that special box. This is the Washed Heritage one or the black and smoke gray one, whatever you want to call them. These are them. And I gotta say, again, a lot of these J's been kind of impressing me in person in hand. They've been looking good. And this is another to add to the list. Now let's slow down a second before we, you know, bust down the box and everything. We cannot forget the real MVP, okay? The Quiet Stand. And of course, make sure you drop a like on this bit, finesse the bell, and sub up if you haven't already. What are you doing? Okay, now we can go ahead and take these joints out of the box. Now, we're gonna get into the details. First of which is gonna be the box itself. Like I said before, these do come with somewhat of a special box. You have this washed kind of looking box, an almost sidewalky, paint splattery, drippy. Like it's it's a cool looking box. I do like these. And again, I'm one of those people who does actually keep my boxes. So this is a nice little touch to easily find them in the stacks. Official size label on these ones read Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black fire red and white got mine in a size 12 that is my true size and for jordan ones i usually recommend going with your true size i am a size 12 yacht gang proud representative of yacht gang with a wider foot so size 12 true to size perfect for me and another detail on the inside of the box they do come with that brown shoelace box with an extra set of black laces now for my video for my review i went ahead and swapped out the laces on my left shoe you guys are going to see a sail lace those are my natural Sylvester ones. And on the right shoe, this is the black lace that comes in the shoe. Now, laced up when you first get them is going to be in all white lace. If you want this shoe, make sure you enter your raffles. Do what you need to do to get them. Uh, right now, the prices aren't crazy, and it's an Air Jordan 1, so I assume that the price is going to keep coming down. But don't get lazy and have to pay the, uh, I just didn't try. I was lazy tax. That's the $20 plus the shipping and the fees, wherever you got to pay on the secondhand market. Just get your shoe on release date. And hey, maybe if you're even lucky, you might be able to pick these joints up on the they release in store so let's jump into the details on i'm gonna just call these the heritage ones or the watch heritage ones black and smoke gray is i don't know that just sounds a little boring so we're gonna start from the bottom work our way up on the bottom the also very very regular degular all over black then we jump to the midsole now this is where that sail coloring comes in and which i like to bounce that off with the sail laces but you do have the sail midsole that goes all the way around one color and then you get to the upper and the upper is where it is get a little spicy, they get pretty nice. Again, we had those pink and white joints. I forgot what they call it. The atmosphere maybe was what they were called. You also have the turbo greens and the, the royal joints. So we have a lot of ones in this similar color block and where you have that all over kind of rougher suede with the white toe box, white paneling, and it's basically a nice suede with a good leather and a good color. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I, I like the pink joints. All right, the pink joints is hard. These is nice. These definitely remind me of like a vintage tee. It really is like the vintage one, in my opinion. Like a very, very heavily washed out vintage tee. That's what the color of these remind me of. But back to the suede. Now there is two different colors of suede. The main one that you're gonna see around the toe on back here on the heel is a little bit of a darker gray or a regular gray. That smoke gray, if you will. And as far as the quality, again, craftsmanship, I am no material expert. I'm not in the factory stitching them up. You know how you, do, I don't know all that. All I'm saying is from a regular consumer looking at the shoe exterior kind of sewer, these joints is looking right. I don't really see any problems with this shoe, nor let me just really quick give my a little spot check. Nah, we, we, we looking good with this pair. It's nice. I will say one thing about this suede, it doesn't really change colors a lot. The suede, since it has that wash look or that washed effect to it, um, it kind of just brushes to a slightly lighter suede. It's a little bit rougher, a little bit more coarse. And you can definitely tell that. It's hard to really communicate that, but you can see it somewhat in the B-roll. Now the swoosh on these joints is more of that smoke gray suede. And then as you get back here to the ankle collar, this is where they switch it up just a little bit. And they do have another suede up here in a lighter gray. And this one seems even rougher than the suede down here on the rest of the shoe. This lighter gray suede definitely feels a lot more rough. The wings logo is also nice on this shoe and looking at it a little bit closer right now it's not exactly sale 
it's just another lighter gray and that's embossed in on the side another nice detail gives the shoe even more texture now this white leather that you're going to see on the toe box as well as the side panels is again it feels good i got that b-roll nice and close up the toe box seems to be a very very lightly lightly tumbled leather and the side as well i don't know man it's it's looking good you know you push it in it's feeling pretty plush and it's feeling like it will actually wear in pretty nice so again suede is nice leather is nice too they they hit you know they're not hitting these are hidden. These, these are hidden. Now, as you jump to the tongue on these, another reason why I like the sale laces, it does have a slightly kind of aged looking tongue on these. On the top of the tongue, you get that Nike Air that's in red with the black tag. You guys can see the back of the tongue as well. And it just seems like a deeper, darker foam behind the nylon on the tongue. And it looks really good with them sale laces. So if you can't tell how many times I already said it, hey, the sale laces, if you can find some good sale laces, even I think the perfect one would be an oval sail lace. The flat lace is cool for sure, but I would like to see these with an oval lace, not like a thick SB lace, but an oval cream sail lace would look good in my opinion. Now, as far as the guts go on these, it is all over black around your ankle, around the Achilles, and then on the insole of these joints, you got my size tag, size 12, but a white insole with that red Nike Air. I've been saying it a lot recently, but I gotta say it again. I mean, these joints is hitting. They're nice. And with the way the market is for ones, I would say go ahead and get these joints right now because this is gonna be a very, very nice. I know they're dropping in the summer, but as far as a fall sneaker, black jeans, black cargos with a hoodie on, a nice washed out gray tee, red fitted, red hat, red trucker, whatever the case may be, these joints is gonna be a hitter for the fall and the summer. A good year round shoe, but. Hey, I gotta tell you, man, these, these, these they, they pretty, they pretty good. Y'all let me know though, okay? Black lace or the sail lace, loose or tied up, nice and neat. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. Make sure you drop a like on this bit. Sub up if you haven't already and finesse the bell as well. More reviews on the way, more ones on the way, more early heat on the way. Enjoy this on feet. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Much love, okay? Peace. Yeah. Black bitch, I'm working. I be getting guap like them birds in. I remember when she used to curve me. Now she said, Uzi, why you won't hurt me? What's that belt? Mm hmm. Dang, Gucci. Uh, bitch, that Hermes. Get that guap, I earned that. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas stepped in it on loco. Tell them niggas that this is where I flow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell them niggas that we're not the same. Oh, no. Nah. You know that nigga Louis going insane. Just by the whip, man, I can't even complain. Just by the cream, man, I can't even complain. Yeah. I didn't know for that love, give me brain. <laughs> yeah, she be rocking that style, she doing the Vogue thing. We do the nothing look brown, I'm building my own wing. No, we ain't turning it down, cause we still rolling. Baby, I think all wild, big no on my phone, wait. Flex. She coming home when I send her a text. Hit it once, she be with a curve at. Yeah, sent her back to you, asked her where she learned that. Hey, passed her to the gang, you know that we turned that. Hey, she gon' give me brain, I be with a perm at. Hey, ooh, diamond chain, wet it up, diamond ring, wet it up. Get the guap, bet it up, fuck his bitch, wet it up. I talk about money, she talk about sis. I love how we on the same page. Yeah. I am a nigga that die by respect, and I'll take this shit right to your grave. Yeah. I don't have 500 less run, niggas be telling me to keep up the pace. Yeah. yeah, yo. She talking about it, she know me. Tell that little bitch to turn up and show me. Oh, yeah. They know what happened when I come in next. Any of the story I feature is that. Forward is coming, they can't just stay. Now I feel my case menu is insane. I'm used to the feeling the road. Had to get that fatty up. Yeah, yeah. Pull my truck. Mm, yeah. Betty duck. Mm, yeah. Leave them stuck. Mm, yeah. Bought my bucks. Yeah. Pop my trunk.